Hi, and welcome to the Parameter Sweep tutorial video. To start with, we have a simple RC circuit attached to an AC source. 110 volt peak, 100 kilohertz is the frequency, and one nanofarad cap, and a 120 ohm resistor in series. Uh, I'm monitoring the input voltage, the cap voltage, and the current flowing through the capacitor, and I'm converting it to an RMS value with this uh, RMS function block here. We can simulate the circuit. We can look at the cap voltage and the input voltage on the same screen. We can see that the cap voltage is just lagging a little bit behind the input voltage. And let's also look at the RMS current flowing. We can see that after it does a little bit of calculation, we end up at about 50 milliamps there. Okay, let's see what happens when we sweep through some different capacitance values. To set that up, I'm going to go to the Elements menu, go to the Other menu, and down to Parameter Sweep, and place the Parameter Sweep function block. The next thing I need to do is I need to open up the capacitor, and I need to change the capacitance from a value to a variable. In this case, I'm going to call it CO. The next thing I'm going to do is go in here and make sure that the parameter to be swept is the variable name of the capacitor. Not the element name C1, but the variable CO. They need to match. I'll put the start value to 1 nanofarad, and I'll put our end value at 100 nanofarads. I'll have an increment step of 10 nanofarads. It's important to remember that the maximum number of parameter steps is 200. In this case, we're well below that. So what's going to happen here when we run the simulation is we're going to do steps from 1 nanofarad to 100 nanofarads and 10 nanofarad steps. Now we're ready to simulate. First off, let's look at all the voltage waveforms. And I'll take one input voltage waveform. Obviously it's the same voltage for each parameter sweep. We'll all add those all to a schematic. Here we can see the effect of the increase in capacitance on the voltage across the capacitor. The other thing that the parameter sweep function does is it will plot all of the available variables versus the parameter being swept, in this case, the capacitance. For the AC signals VN and, and VCAP, it's not very useful since it's taking the last simulation point from that particular parameter sweep and storing it and plotting it for later. However, with the DC value, IRMS, it will be interesting to look at. So we can add just the current on its own. And here we see the current flowing the, through the capacitor as a function of the capacitance. The parameter sweep is pretty easy to set up, and thanks for watching the video.